I'm Megan. And this is Jack. Then there was Ezra. And let's not forget Hendrix. We're the Marchants, and this is our life. Jack asked me to bake some vegan cookies today. He was very excited about them. So he went out, got me the ingredients. Really nice of him. Started baking, and it was all going really well. Well, no, do you know what? I kind of messed up drawing. So it didn't go well. And it didn't end well. The cookies, ideally, should kind of be gooey. Because I've had one, my friend made one, and they were delicious, and all kinds of yumminess in your mouth. Mine, not so much. So, you know, colouring, you know, it's not too bad. It's all right. Shall we turn that over? Not really the ideal um, colour that you're going for when it comes to cookies. Um, black hole comes to mind, black cat, all those kind of things, attire. Should we do a little uh, sound test of the, uh, with the cookie? Are you ready? I mean, I think that could kill, not just even a small child, I think that could kill a full grown adult if you chucked it hard enough. Where would you have it? What do you think of my hair? And we've got a French and a poodle. Ezra, we got a new doggy. <laughs> we just go back and walk in Hendrix. We take mummy for a walk. Look at mummy poodle. Ezra. Ezra, where's mummy? Mummy poodle. What does she look like? She looks like a poodle. Who looks like you? Where's your whip if you got? Is that tasty? Oh, you, you got know. one too. Have you got one too? <gasps> yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Is that better? So we're just out for a walk and this little kid's on his bike and he literally just come chucks, around, like, around the comes around the corner and he just chucks it on the floor and pegs it towards his parents. Doesn't come back for the bike. His little brother is stood just at the end of the road there. Oh, they're there all, co they're all coming back around the corner. But I think he was literally petrified of dogs. Now Hendrix is a small dog and he was nowhere near him. He could not care less about humans. But he did not care about that bike. It was like, no, save yourself! <laughs> yeah, Megan, Megan. Just like peering around the corner. You see him? He's coming. Oh, he's just right off. Go on. He's like to peer around there. Oh, he's so scared of the dog.
I've just opened Ezra's soft play. <laughs> well, do you know what? I opened it because I went online and when it arrived, I thought it was quite small. And I was like, well, you know, babies are small. This isn't for us. If only. I'm going to go on it. But so I opened it because, so I went online and the toddler was on there and the soft play still looked to a larger scale. And I was like, I don't think what we have is right. So I came in, it opened it up, and the section is right. This is the, um, it's, it's kind of like a corner piece with a little slide and they crawl up and it's got steps, lovely jubbly. <laughs> um, but I've ordered a castle. It's not actually a castle, they just call it a castle <laughs> to make it sound fancier than it is. But that's why we buy things, isn't it? Yes. Opened it up and I was like, it's not actually arrived. And it's odd because we ordered the castle before this and they actually told us that this wouldn't arrive maybe before his birthday so I'll be really upset if the other one doesn't arrive because we're going to venture going to Ikea <gasps> madness I hear you say well I really want to finish off the last bits in his playroom before his birthday so it can all be organized right now it's kind of just been left at a standstill so I need to finish it so we have now chased up about this and hopefully it gets here before his birthday so I will be sad. <laughs> Look at the craziness of this going on. What, what bought it? <laughs> Stupid. Huh? Jack's been shopping. Oh, <laughs> plant. They make me happy. Three go to all the shops because they don't have time. You may have had a little accident. Maybe. I think you need to go to the doctor's. No, because I needed a wee when I left. I thought it'd be quick. There was just too many people. So we had a little accident. This is not the first time Jack has wet himself. Like Jack wets himself on a like a like a regular basis. But we do have a pineapple. Has anyone seen a plant like this before? It actually has a pineapple in it. The plant is called pineapple. But there's a little pineapple in there. You can tell the kind of plants Jack buys when he goes shopping. Cool ones. Also, I thought I'd give you a little bit of update on the uh, pants that um, I used. So, every day they've leaked. It's not been great. Um, Ezra's little tiny butt is just too small. So, we've had leaky poos, which we've not had for ages, and a lot of leaky wee wees. So, even though these are beautiful nappies, I won't be using them anymore. So, don't really know what to do with them now. Anybody need nappies? We've got two bucks. I think it looks weird. So the pineapple plant wasn't a winner, so we headed on back and returned that. For me. This morning we went to B&Q nice and early, just nice and early, to go and get some more pots for my plants. The lady there had said that there was going to there was a delivery with loads of plants and pots. I was like, ah, oh, yay! Literally, there was a couple few few more things. So literally, I walked away with one pot and returned two plants that Jack bought. They were a no go. Ezra's been sleeping about an hour and a half, I think. So I have just gone around the, the back of the house and cut in with our lovely paint. Do you want me to show you? Give you a little show. Come on then. Just gone in at the top, down at the bottoms, and then on the inside of the door. <gasps> Look, that's finished. Ooh. Here also, and then filled in all around there. So then Jack, literally when he gets home, he just needs to roll her. Uh, which is which is good so the back of the house this evening should be done now I'm going out later I have to see some friends we're going to a poppy field so I want to clean up and I really wanted to start 
making Ezra's play kitchen. So if I can get at least 20 minutes, which I'll probably only get it out of the box. I don't know, and I don't know if Jack's left me any tools to actually even make it. We'll see, let's wash first and then decide that, okay? Yeah, okay. I don't have high expectations of achieving this. I've already cut my thumb on the box. Not even on the scissors while opening the box, just the box. Anyway, let's, let's try and get it out. I don't know if you're meant to open the whole box. So if this slides out, I have to open the whole box. I'm struggling with the box. Oh my god. It's not a good start. So there's a lot of pages going on. Where are we going? Yeah, so you, you can't have it. made a bit of barricade looks a really neat away and I don't want all the cars on the main road to be able to see me but I've got to go Whoa. <laughs> Here's my wipe wipe. Wipe the table, please. Can you wipe up your mess? That's it. <laughs> You're funny. No more. See, then do things you're messy. You always say the same thing. It's not ever in moderation. It's setting real, like real goals. <laughs> That's what you say, isn't it? Something, something along those lines. You being know, realistic. Yeah, realistic. So I'm being realistic. I'm just going like cold turkey. Like no. Diets, you don't start cold turkey. What you do is when you start a diet, <laughs> when you start a diet, you have a, you have a salad for lunch and then have a cookie and then fish and chips. The fish and chips is your fault. Jack's diet is going so well. <laughs> I'm only eating the fish. There's all the bats And the chips. And um, all the chips. <laughs> Can you move quickly my ankle? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to watch. <laughs> you would never waste that much. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe.
Have a great week.